Sheldon Hottenshield down the backstretch for the final time. Pulling away late in this one. Sheldon Hottenshield wins an exceptional sprint car race at the Kingdom of Speed. Coming in from Bridgeport, coming off a win uh, is always good, but going back home, uh, you know, makes it that much better. I actually thought the race was like over four laps before it was. Like, I remember seeing a flag and I thought it was a white, and then I thought I saw it next lap and I thought it was a checkered, and then them boys were still ripping, so. And I turned it down a few laps before that and I got under Brad that way. So it was like a good practice, and then got David with that. But that was close. I mean, we already race with these guys all the time, but I think it's good to just be able to watch it. And, you know, really know how they race. He pushed a little. You can learn a, a lot. I mean, that's my goal. To do it for a living until I want to retire. And I think even not doing it at the top level, you can still maybe not make as much money, but you can still make a decent amount of money racing. Why the Outlaws versus All-Stars? All-Stars are closer, more convenient, probably easier to cherry pick the money. Yeah, the, they just don't pay as much. And you're not racing the level of competition that we race every week. That's why I do it, you know. I want to beat the best guys, not just go cherry pick races. You go win an All-Star race, you can't say, I just beat the best in the world. Sitting in the back for the rap for the rap pack. Tell them back back, ain't about that. Uh, be the best, just let it spell. Kill the wreck, shit, I bet I will. Do it all with no record deal. Stacking green, gotta let it spell. Did it overflow till it overfills? Pop for the world when the half fails. Get a work card, find out. Dollar size of my mind bout. All these rhymes like a grindhouse. I'm in this bitch, I never sign out. Stacking money, stacking paper, do it like an elevator. Motherfucking dudes that be acting like a hater, uh. I feel like every time I do get home, it's usually more work than being on the road for sure. I feel like uh, me and Zan always have something going on at home, whether it's with the merchandise or uh, just maintenance in our rigs and, and making sure we're ready to go. Missing a mud flat bolt. She likes her ramp out. <laughs> Little spa day. Once you spray her neck, then she'll want to shake. Good girl. Man, this sucks. I need a freshie. Good girl, Pella. That's crazy, she hasn't it like that in a while. Zan, can you go get me an air gun? Just to get that stuff in line and, and be able to get home for a few days and uh, try and bust out some little things uh, is more of a, a big job when you're not home for a while, so. Couldn't have made it any closer. That needs wiped off right there. Huh? It needs wiped off. Keep going. Yeah, we're a little different from other teams with NOS as a sponsor. Um, you know, you're, you're dealing with those corporate logos uh, and we have to have everything turned in pretty early. So most of my designs heading into the summer, they're, they're ready, ready to go. And we're just looking uh, to pick out those colors uh, and what, what do we want to put those on? What, what items do we want to offer with that design on it? Things like that. Try to think like the customer. Uh, so I think that's a big, a big thing for me is just finding those colors and those styles that I think, you know, our target audience would enjoy wearing. I like this one. 
but it doesn't have a baby option, so the yellows are sick. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Looks like it, any of the other ones have prints on No, about that. I like that color though. I got these cinch backpacks. I haven't advertised them. <laughs> so they haven't sold, but they're uh, sick. I'll show you. They will sell. And I got like a lot of them. Right now, you know, we're getting ready to go into a few Ohio races. So it's really important, at least for me, to be able to get home and kind of spread that inventory out, see what I have, and prepare the trailer for those events. When we prepare for Ohio, we're preparing for our biggest races of the year and a big bulk of fans from here, obviously, or traveling to here because we're in the heart of Hod Nation. You know, the fans show up at Ohio and uh, that that's what makes it so special. We have some of the best fans in the whole country that, you know, they'll drive three, four hours across the state to show up. So to me, that's uh, pretty special. It's phenomenal to see the fan reaction to Sheldon and of course with his performances on the track has given the crowd a reason to go crazy. Grew up racing Atomic. You, know, you gotta get up on the bank and, and let it rip and you know I feel like I've been fast here. I've crashed it here. Um, um, I feel like it's just one that you gotta attack. You know it's pretty special to even go there. Right rear right up against the wall. Sheldon Hotchill is quick time! To go in there and, and uh, have me and Cole Duncan on the front row and kind of where we left off, me and Cole battled for the win the last time I was there. So uh, for us two to be on the front row like that uh, back home was pretty awesome. You know, you're rolling around there on the four wide and it's you and Cole. It feels like old days. I didn't really know what shark I was battling at what time. Jacob Allen, low at one and two, new leader. Jacob Allen out of turn number two and down the back straight away. It was a tough race, you know. Both them guys raced really smart, so you kind of just had to outthink them a little bit. Sheldon Hodgeshield around the outside at one and two. Sheldon Hodgeshield has the lead again into turn three. Here comes Jacob back on the bottom. Jacob Allen and Sheldon Hodgeshield. Sheldon Hodgeshield. You know, they did a great job. Uh, I feel like, you know, if it wasn't me out front that was probably ripping the fence like that, they probably would have won. Checker five waves over Sheldon Hottenshield, and Schuhart gets second as they cross the line. Sheldon Hottenshield comes up to celebrate the feature move. Yeah, I feel like we've always been a team to beat, and you know, you can't ever count yourself out, and, and just keep, keep your head down and keep shredding.